You ready? All right, so just a little video for Miss Sue's Q for her first week. This is Thursday. Yes, yeah, Thursday, so we're doing it a little bit early just because tomorrow I have a lot of lessons. Um, and I don't want to run out of time to make a video. So, hi. Uh, the main focus this week has been, sorry, establishing a marker system. So a marker is a word or a sound that marks a moment in time that we like something that she does. And for her, that's going to announce the arrival of a reward event. So she has multiple markers that all have different meanings as far as expectation within behavior. So we have yes, good, okay, and no. Yes is going to mean I like what you did, come take something from me. She doesn't have to do anything past hearing the marker yes other than come take reinforcement from me. So I'm using this one for the really big stuff. So. Uh, recall um, her outing away from something anything where I really want anyway but I really want that to be a strong behavior or if I'm shaping a new, a new behavior um, I'm going to use that yes marker to build enthusiasm it's always going to be followed with some form of reinforcement how I deliver the reinforcement is going to be fun and playful I want her to chase after my hand instead of just smashing food into her face I want to make I want to tap into that her natural prey drive and increase the value of the reward by adding in movement uh, good and okay, those are going to be duration markers, meaning if I say good when she does the thing that I like, I'm intending for her to continue to do that. If I want to reinforce that or pay her, reward it, I want to bring the reward to her. Okay means she can be done with that, she can come out of behavior. Um, eventually those won't even need, need to be followed with the reinforcer, um, but right now I want to create the association and then of course, no means no. Um, so for her it's going to be that bridge between desired behavior and delivery of rewards so that we're not accidentally rewarding anything that happens between those two events. So um, I want to just kind of demonstrate her out command because I'm using that a lot right now to move her away from something that she shouldn't have. So I want to really set the, the muscle memory and, and this, the event of you're being asked to leave something alone, but you're going to get something better in return, so just to lessen the conflict. So if every time she has something to go after we run towards her, take it away from her, back to down the line, create a little bit of possession issues where she tries really hard to keep it, which can often lead to uh, like growling or biting or something like that. So lab, most likely not, but it happens and I've definitely worked with labs where that is a thing. So um, the first step was making her out away from me so that I help with jumping. Um, creating space between myself and her so that she's not just all for my business all the time. Hi girl! Out! Yes, good job. Um, and then what we've been working on now, she's got that muscle memory down, I've been outing her away from something that she has, moving away from it. Now that she knows out means move back, it's just kind of a reflexive response for her. What I've been doing is just putting something simple on the ground, uh, maybe like a couple of kibbles right as she finishes it, I say the word out so that she doesn't even care that it's gone anyway. She moves away from it, she gets something better than what she had that she was moving away from. And then we're gonna start doing it away from objects. I've just been practicing it away, like the random things on the ground that she, as soon as she starts to sniff. Um, and she, yesterday we started outing her, I started outing her away from a person that was giving her attention. So I really want her to have a, a strong understanding that out means just to leave something away, or out means to leave something alone. Um, the other thing that I'm working on with her is replace command. And I think that's going to be valuable in for the future, sorry I can't talk, for the future so that she understands how to just go and hang out. It's going to be something that we're use, I, I recommend using a lot right now in her puppyhood to create better habits more so right now, and you can fade out the need for the place as she learns how to live at liberty appropriately. Um, because as we already know, her favorite thing to do is to sneak off and start chewing on things. So I wanna eliminate the possibility. The place command is something we say, go to your place while, she, while you're doing things if you're not able to micromanage her per se. Um, that should be balanced with enrichment opportunities, taking her on walks, finding some way to have an interactive play. She likes this ball and string, I'm more one. I have a ball and string, she likes to play with that, fetch, all of those types of play, um, and letting her have 
outside time. Um, and then, or I should say, it's important that she has a balance of both. If you only keep her in her crate or you only have her on her place, she's a puppy, she needs enrichment, she needs playtime, that's gonna be a really big fight. Um, but I also don't want it to be just we're hammering her with exercise because um, it will create a super animal and because, of, especially because of her age, it's really important that she has downtime and she learns how to settle down so we don't just constantly keep her in a state of arousal. Um, that will create its own issues, um, make her a dog that's really easily excitable and not able to settle. We want her to understand how to self suit So, yeah. Susie, come here. Please. You got it, girl. Good. So I want her to remain behavior. Go ahead. Pay her in behavior. Very nice. Go ahead. Get her used to my movement. It's neutral. It doesn't mean anything other than good. It means I'm going to bring her food. Versus yes. It means she can come take food from me. Thank you. Yes. Ooh, where'd you go? No, oh, you're not gonna spin yet. Good girl. You left one. He's right here. Oh my goodness. Then we have out. Yes. Um, I'll show you. I'll step out the frame for a second. We have her little kibble lens. Looks like there's five kibbles in here, a little tiny one. Finishes it. with her playtime outside. Um, she's giving a little too much freedom and today she was chewing on the bridge that's out there. So now she's on a rotation, meaning someone's out there with her to micromanage that she doesn't chew when she gets bored. Out, yes, good job. Um, again, just to create better habits, even though she's with her buddies, the day is pretty monotonous. It's the same thing all the time. So I think she's like, I'm bored now, so I'm gonna start chewing. All right, girlfriend, say goodbye.